Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're actually going to be talking about the keyword distinct. What distinct does is it says only select this value. So let's go ahead and let's start a new query. And we're going to go ahead and continue working with our person.address table. So let's go ahead and just create a general select statement. So let's say select city and then our database is the person.address. And you can choose to put this in brackets if you'd like. That way it ignores that keyword. And that's why exactly what I'm going to do. But you don't have to if you don't want to. So, what we've done here, if we look at this, we start looking, we start seeing Paris repeats itself. A lot of these cities repeat themselves. So let's say that I only want a list of the cities. I don't want to have the cities listed multiple times. So we need to use the word distinct. Distinct says I'm only going to get these once. So if we execute, now we should only see the cities listed once. They will not be listed multiple times. As you can see, we have a lot less records. So now what I want to do is I want to comment this out so we can kind of compare. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We can copy, we can paste. So you can do a comparison to how distinct works versus non-distinct. So on the top, it's going to be our distinct statement. We see we have 575 records there. So there's 575 unique cities listed within that table. If we come down here, there's probably going to be like 19,000 or something. Yes, 19,614 records that have a value for city. And as you can see, the cities are listed the same multiple times versus the distinct that says this is all you get. Now we can actually add in the address ID as well which I know is a unique value and that will tell you where it's coming from. So you can kind of see the record that's happening here. So let's double check to make sure that we still at the same amount. Oh, it looks like it broke the logic because the address ID has more results available that are distinct than the city itself. So we could probably remove that We can't use the ID. Forgot all about that. So let's just stick to our general comparison here. We can get we can get more advanced in our query as far as filtering and, and things uh, later on. For right now, let's just work with this distinct statement. Go ahead and play around with that. And once you get comfortable with using the distinct statement and seeing how it works in its most basic form. We'll talk about the where clause and some of the other things coming up which help us further filter out things.